So today we're going to be rebuilding and restoring this Goodman GSH-13 heat pump, I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's a Z. GSZ-13. This has a Copeland scroll compressor. Filter dryer that's the size of Pangea. And there's a bunch of poly. Y'all might remember that Lennox 13 ACX Merit Series air conditioner we restored last year. Um, we're gonna be doing the same thing with this unit. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and get a look at this data sheet. This is a two ton manufactured in June of 2010. 13 sear. And this used a uh, R14A surprisingly. And that Linux we rebuilt last year has since been reinstalled and is now back in service. Can I lift this up a little bit. and just like reach, like enough for me to reach beneath it and get all the stuff out within the unit? I don't know. I don't know if you can get that far. That's about as far as you're going to go. Yeah, I'm not going to try to lift it any further than that. Maybe we should get a trash bag. Come on. Before we could. Throw it in here. Because we now have a box instead of a trash bag, I guess it'll work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need to... What's this? No. Out. Should we throw this out? That's, or from, just... a, that's from a new unit. Oh, so... And to the pile it goes. Mm -hmm. Probably good enough. There ain't really a whole lot down there. Yeah, that's. <clears throat> I'll just dump this into the bush. I wish we had some sort of vacuum. I'm gonna try to get this little bit out. There's no way I'm getting all this out by hand. But I'll do what I see as significant. I might need that box again. Did you? Did you put it away? I'll just. I guess I'll just throw it over here. <laughs> Continue doing what we need to. I think that'll probably be good for now. In terms of cleaning the inside by hand, we're gonna actually, I'm gonna get this out because this is what really hurts the performance when it's clogged up against a coil like that. I don't know if the pressure on this hose is enough to get all this off.
Let me try to angle it down, see if that does the job. Seems to be working. I think you just gotta angle it down. Um, if you do it straight, it's not gonna. It's all collecting at the base pan now. I just created a whole ocean inside of there, but that does make it <laughs> somewhat easier to get all this out now because it's floating a little bit, so. We're gonna use a coil cleaner. Oh, you're holding a whole jug. <laughs> Is this still bolted on or? Uh, nope. I can just take that right off. Here. This is this is the last little piece. That's pretty good. Pretty good. It's never been taken apart and properly cleaned. It's been clean, but it's never been properly Not like thoroughly. Never been disassembled. But this is nowhere near as bad as that Linux was. You know, that Linux was bad. It was worse than bad. I'm gonna get all this taken care of. There's your defrost board, which has been changed to 60 minutes. As you know, these units are defaulted by 30. And it's been brought to my attention that this unit has a bad reversing valve, so we're probably not going to put it back together since it needs a new reversing valve. Pollen right there. Soon to be gone. Almost empty. Alright, time to spray there. Supposed to be way more than that. I think we got both get some bait. I think we got some bait with some. All that stuff might just have to be wiped down. I thought the cleaner would take it off, but it's like you got some bogus cleaner. Yeah, it's not very effective. Given how stubborn this stuff is to come off.
crazy how the rust is like gone now. Clean a lot of the surface. For the rust. most part. We only have a little bit left. This might not be on all that. So here it is, put back together for the most part. Uh, we didn't put it all the way back together because it's going to need a new reversing valve. Since the reversing valve is bad, but we went out for a few hours, came back, decided to uh, reassemble it to the point where if it rains or something, the wires won't get damaged. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.